radial velocity method uses gravity to detect planets. Remember, a planet is much smaller than its star, but it still exerts a tiny gravitational pull or tug on the star as it orbits. Now, when a planet is behind the star, from our point of view, it pulls the star slightly away from us. When it's in front, it pulls the star slightly towards us. And this causes the star to wobble back and forth. Astronomers look for this wobbling to find planets. Now, how do astronomers detect this wobble? Well, they use something called a spectrograph and a powerful telescopes to examine the light coming from distant stars. A spectrograph is like a prism. It splits the light from the star into its component colors, producing a spectrum. Some of the starlight gets absorbed as it passes through a star's atmosphere, and this produces small dark gaps or lines in the spectrum. As the star moves closer to us, these lines shift towards the blue end of the spectrum. As the star moves away, the lines shift towards the red end of the spectrum. And astronomers can look for orbiting planets by looking for these back and forth motions of the lines in a star's spectrum. And that's how they come to know that there is a planet orbiting a distant star. And that is how the radial velocity method works. The radial velocity method was one of the first successful ways to find exoplanets and it continues to be one of the most productive ones.